213, take one. All right, wait till he gets down. What were you doing this morning? We were trying to make an addition of the El Garden Gerto. Is this supposed to be serious? Yes, it is. Oh. Yes, we were trying to make an addition of the El Garden Gerto. Why? Because it's something I've always wanted to do. I mean, I could play the thing, so I would like to try and play it this way. You seem to be taking some liberties with Elgar's own markings. Is it because you think you can give something to the piece that is not there in Elgar's own score? Well, I suppose everybody has their own feelings about how a piece of music can be played. But I've heard actually from somebody who knew Elgar that he took wild liberties with his own writing and did things which are completely different from what he'd instructed in the score that made me feel completely free to do what I felt I could do. And what is it really that in making a new edition that you're trying to do? For people who don't know music, can you explain what it is you're doing? Well, all I can do is to try and try it and put down what I felt the piece was about. How? You see, I mean, people, most people don't know about Boeings and, and, uh, and markings and that kind of thing. So what is it you are actually trying to put in there? One can only try and put in what one feels by putting in things like up bow, down bow, and a few expression markings. People have spoken for years about a special affinity between Jacqueline Dupre and the Elgar Concerto. What do you feel about that? I can only say that I loved it. I loved it very much. Why do you say loved? Because I did. And don't? What do you mean, don't well, I did? Why do you use the past tense? Well, because I don't play it. But I can try to make an addition of it. Do you think you have a special understanding of it? I don't know. Maybe it's, it's a piece which hasn't been played very much. I've just known it for years and loved it for years. Do you know why you loved it? I felt it, it had such a wide range of expression went from terrible pathos to ridiculous fun and amusement. How long is it since you've played it? It must be um I should think it's 10 or 11 years. And what have you been doing in the intervening years? I've been teaching. Basically teaching. What have they been like, those years? It could be quite difficult because if one's been very busy doing something one's loved very much, it's hard to try and rebuild something that feels worthwhile. So that's really been my job, rebuilding. And what have you done to try and rebuild? Well, since the only thing I've really known anything about has been playing the cello, I've tried to help others. The press and the communications media have made a lot of your bravery in dealing with what has happened to you. What do you feel about that? Well, there are thousands of people who have this. And it is a tough thing to come to terms with. 
but I've had wonderful help from many people, so I think in that way I was lucky. Have you found it difficult to find enough things to keep you busy? Because you're immensely active, mentality and physically immensely active. Have you had difficulty in finding enough things to do? My days seem quite full, actually. And I like to make quite sure that they are full. Because I don't want to sit here and mope. I can't do what I used to do. Do you remember the time when we made the f original film? Se 1967. Do you remember that when we were actually making it? Yes, of course I do. What did you feel then about making it? Well, I enjoyed the fun of it. And what do you think of the film when you see it now? I think it's pretty good, sir. From your point of view, when you see yourself play? Well, that makes me happy because I... I think luckily it was... The playing was on, on a day when I f felt well. And I felt it went very well. It doesn't worry you to see yourself playing? No. Would you like to see the film reissued? Yes, I would love it. Why? Because it would bring something back which... one could think has totally disappeared. Do you think that in these years since you've stopped playing that your attitude to life and to other things has changed? Maybe in that one learns to appreciate even more the things that are still possible. I mean, friendship has become very much more precious and less fleeting than it was when I was busy travelling around all the time. Are you aware of broadening interests? The theatre. Because I never used to go to the theatre. I was always too swiping busy. I was always too busy. And you've enjoyed those things? Very, very much. I, I think that you've actually developed mentally. I mean, you would have anyway because you were young in 67. But mentally, I think you've developed colossally. Do you think so? I don't know whether learning to appreciate other things can say that one has perhaps developed. Yeah, you were never actually that introspective. Uh, you seem to do most things, uh, if I'm right, uh, you seem to do most things by by strength of conviction if not impulse, rather than by reflection. Am I right? I think probably a combination of them both. Has your attitude to music itself changed? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't really know what that means, attitude to music. Well, you, you are much more articulate about music since you haven't been able to play. That means I've had to use my mouth instead of my hands. Have you enjoyed doing that? Yes, I have. Do you get fun out of life? Yes. To come back to my other question, people talk about you being brave. Do you feel brave? No. Why? I don't know, I just think that people with harder things manage better. Okay, change mags, please. 214. Coming back to uh, the Elgar, if I understood you correctly, you seem to be prepared to leave out 
Elgar's instruction that the opening phrase should be played nobilmente. Well, I think that's not very helpful. One has to perhaps be helped Sorry, by... Sorry, in your answer, use the phrase. What isn't very helpful? I think the word nobilmente doesn't actually tell one how to create that feeling. I mean, one may feel very nobilmente, but how do you make it? Sorry. No, so I think the only thing to be helped with is how to make this, the kind of sound which will create that feeling. And basically that's what you've been doing this morning? Yes. Do you remember your first gramophone recording? Well, I've just been told by EMI that I made a record when I was 15. And I can't actually remember it. But um, I think they're going to issue it in February. But I can recall you telling me that you did remember what you thought was your first recording and that you had, you, you didn't like it. Maybe you're talking about the Delius. I don't know, I just remember you telling me about a recording where you found difficulty coming to terms with the microphone in the studio. I didn't know anything about balancing. And I wasn't told how it worked. Did you... Was there always a difference for you between playing for a microphone and playing for the public? Not always, funnily enough. Because it seemed to come from within, whether there was an audience there or, or a microphone. But even the way you say that indicates you didn't really like microphones. Not so much. Did you like the limelight? Did you like being on stage? Well, I loved it if there was a feeling of a, of a two-way response. Do you miss it now? Yes, I do, but... Occasionally I've been able to do a few pieces like The Count of the Animals and Peter and the Wolf. That's been very satisfying. Do you often think about the years when you were performing? Never! <laughs> of course I do. And what do you think? Well, I do miss it. I had a good time. What do you plan to do next? I shall go on teaching. And maybe a few more works which have the spoken word in them. Your interest in words and in literature has developed enormously, hasn't it? I suppose so, yes. Are you aware of it as a substitute in any way? One finds substitutes all over the place. Clifford was here last night reading poetry to me. And that was lovely. It, it's obviously because you've had more time to do it, but your, your actual appreciation of words has really blossomed colossally. You probably don't, aren't aware of it. No, I'm not. Well, I no. have learnt recently some very interesting words which I shan't go into at the moment. <laughs> yes, I do love words. Can you read? No. What happens? Well, then I ask a friend to come and read for me or I get cassettes. What next? Lunch. That's what I wanted. Thank you, Smiley. <laughs> Good. Cut it. <laughs>